This morning's coffee with us with Tess Holiday. And the satellite interview is furnished by Blue Streak Books. Tess Holiday, welcome to Baltimore. Good morning, hun, as we would say in Baltimore. How you doing? Good morning. Thanks. I'm I'm really excited to be talking to you guys. Well, you just told us off air you really wanted to come to Baltimore. Yeah. Tell us about Why it. Why is that? Well, I'm a huge John Waters fan. I have Divine tattooed on me, and uh, I have always wanted to go there. So I really, really want to do a signing at Atomic Books. Um, I want to make it happen. So look, maybe I can meet you guys in real life soon. Yeah, but, okay, well, look, Atomic Books is about a three-minute <laughs> drive from here. If you're there, I'm going to oh. walk up and just introduce myself. <laughs> and of course, okay. you know, well, <laughs> Div Divine's final resting place is Gravesite. Is up in Baltimore County, a thousand. You can go visit. It's almost a shrine. I know. I look. It's been a dream of mine. So I was just talking to them. I'm literally going to make this happen. So hey, I'll listen. see you guys soon. That's hey, exciting. Hey Tess, you know you, you you've got the juice. You know you you are uh, you could you could get in touch with John Waters. You you may be able to have a cup of coffee with John. Uh, you guys, I, it's too early for me to have a heart attack right now because I would, I would literally die. <laughs> just, but just, um, I would love that. <laughs> I'll, I'll just tell you this: he is as cool as you think he is. He's a good guy. I've, Very, I've heard that. I've heard that. Very yeah. Very good friend of the show. Hey, let's talk about your book. I think it's great. The not yeah. so subtle art of being a fat girl. Mm -hmm. You know, you opened up the door for plus size models. You opened up the door for people who may not even be. I'm going to use the word on your book, fat. For somebody who may yeah. be five or six pounds overweight, and to look in the mirror and go, you know what? You opened up the door for dad bod. How about that? <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you know, there's just such an unrealistic standard of beauty in the world, and, and I feel like we're all so harsh on ourselves, and maybe it would just be nice to, like, ease up a bit and understand that we all go through life. Sometimes it's tough, and sometimes that means we, we're tough on ourselves, but at the end of the day, you have to love yourself, because if you don't, you're no good to anyone around you. You have this great hashtag, F your beauty standards, and I looked on Twitter, and it's yeah. a lot of empowering stories and women sharing pictures of themselves, feeling good, and just celebrating their bodies. Yeah, my uh, my hashtag started on Instagram, and it's been shared almost two and a half million, well, over two and a half million times. And uh, it really started as a way for me to say, like, look, I get it, I'm fat, but I should be able to wear what I want, and we all should, regardless of our size. And so uh, I encouraged other people to share photos, and it really changed my life, and it opened me up to a whole nother world of of body positivity and and understanding that um, we all deal with kind of the same issues, regardless. Of, of what size we are. Congratulations. <laughs> Give us your um, social media That's handles great. one more time because you are a star on social media. You have millions of followers. Yeah, you do. Oh, um, so I'm Tess Holiday on pretty much everything just with two L's. So, yeah, at Tess Holiday. I tell you what, if, if you come to Atomic Books, if I find out about it, we're going to promote the heck out of it. And I'm going I'm to walk oh, in. Thank and you. I'm going to walk in and introduce myself. And I really, I just want you to say one word. There's a word in Baltimore that's non gender specific and it's a loving verbal embrace. It's hun. If I, I know that. I see, I, I see shirts and stuff of people wearing it. So, hun, yeah, I'm going to get like a hun shirt and it's going to be a thing. <laughs> but right I'm going to right, be there. Right, right down the street from Atomic Books is Cafe Hun. Mm hmm. I saw them on Kitchen Night. Oh my God! You know everything about Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know I what? I do. I'm obsessed with. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with Baltimore. I'm. I'm gonna make it happen, guys. But I will tell you this: um, they squirted away at Cafe Hunt. Denise Whitting is, is a hero. She turned that neighborhood around. I go there all the time. Yeah. I'll meet, I'll, 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 dinner's on me <laughs> at Cafe Hunt if you want to go. I, to be honest, I love people that do their own thing, and I'm totally into it, and I would love to go and, and have a burger with you at Cafe Hun and uh, talk about John Waters. <laughs> you got it. Hey, listen, we've got to go. Our satellite time's run short. Good luck uh, on the book. Thank and that's you. And to being a fat girl. You're a legend. You're a fine, fine lady. Thanks for being with us. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, Thanks, All right hun, we'll see you later. Bye. We well, brought, but we will see her later. I swear we're to gonna you. see her here in Baltimore. Um, <laughs> we're going. Yeah, we'll go. I'm all over there. Yeah, awesome. <laughs>